The next water sign is Scorpio. Now we've all heard of Scorpios, and I believe that Scorpio gets a really bad rap because people say, oh, Scorpios, ooh, watch out for the Scorpio, ooh, danger, danger. Not necessarily. An interesting fact about Scorpio, which you might not know, is that Scorpio has all the positive traits of every other sign of the zodiac and all the negative traits of every other sign of the zodiac plus their own. So they're the most intense sign of the zodiac, Scorpio. So Scorpios are people that tend to be um, very secretive. It rules detective work, cemeteries, death, the unknown. So it's the secretive sign. It's very secretive. When you meet a Scorpio, they're very much, they hold things back and they're very, very good at ferreting out other people's information, but not real good at giving out their own information. They stay very hidden. They keep their cards close to the chest. Scorpio, I think, gets uh, the bad rap because it rules the sexual organs, the sexual reproductive area. So many people think that Scorpios are, are sex maniacs. Not necessarily. Scorpios think about the sex, but the Taurus do the sex because Taurus is the most physical sign. So that's an interesting fact. And Scorpios tend to be the highest sign of the zodiac as far as spirituality goes. They can tend to be the most spiritually minded beings on the planet. Or they could be the lowest. They could have jealousy, possess possessiveness, um, the negative qualities there, um, uh, ego, um, be aloof, um, be angry, and they can be that way. Or also they can be the healers, the compassionate, loving, uh, wonderful mediums. Scorpio rules mediumship, what I do. And a lot of my planets are in a Scorpio house which we'll find out in a little bit what that means. But so I get a lot of influence of Scorpio, which is a mediumship. And that makes sense. So Scorpio ruled the reproductive area. So remember, watch out for anything reproductive. That's the weakest area of Scorpio.